Hello, everyone. RBG Kim Kid here, back with some more Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. In the I'm with you. previous video, we did do a little bit of story. Actually, no, I don't think we did any story. I think it was all side content again. I'm so sorry, but I feel like I, I feel like I will never get a chance. Like it's kind of like a whole like, oh, this is your only chance to play as Kiryu until Premium Adventure. So I kind of want to do everything that I can right now with him. And also the memoirs are fucking great. But anyway, now we're doing a story-based side story. So this is the place Date san told me to find him, Rose Blossom. Sacha, do you do events for Christmas and Halloween at your place? Of course. Those are some of our most lucrative nights. <laughs> Even the staff likes them because they get to cosplay. Well, they get into it, huh? I guess dressing up like Santa is always fun. Back at Sunflower, yep. I'd have to dress up as Santa for the younger kids. I guess that was kind of like cosplay. Oh, I would have loved to see you in a Santa outfit, Kiryu-san. Are there any photos? I remember someone taking pictures, but they're long gone by now. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> it's me. I've got an operation for you. Mm-hmm. Locate the Son, he please don't be calling a Comey Jewel agent. <laughs> that oh my god, that's hilarious. Alright, Date. What up? What you want to do, boy? Bucket list, eh? There he is. Took you long enough. It's like you're on you the bought? side doing other stuff. We've got it from here. Going over to that table. Very good, sir. Please enjoy yourselves. Uh, well, what are we doing here exactly? Is your daughter here? I appreciate you coming down here, Kiryu. You won't regret it, I think. I'll trust you on that. Whose table was that just now, by the way? Do you two know each other? You were drinking together. Uh, I'd introduce you to the guy, but the Daidoji faction wouldn't be happy with me. Hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Kid's name is Taichi. The boy <gasps> you raised at morning What? Glory, that Taichi. No! What? Don't start gawking at him. He hasn't clocked you either, it would seem. Oh my god! Look at him! I mean, we know he got older from Gaiden, but god, there's <sighs> six. Hey, don't order another yet. I need a second. Any more and I'll pass out on my way home. It's alright, handsome. Aww. I'll watch over you until the morning. Oh, really? Ah, oh, he's so big. It's not an offer I'd make How long has it been between Yakuza 3? I mean, I guess it's been three years since the end of 6, but still. <sighs> That's really great. Yokohama girls are the best. To be fair, he's of legal drinking age. Back in Okinawa, he works as a fireman. Yep. I can't believe it. That's Taichi. What's he doing here? I heard he was visiting a friend in Tokyo, so I rang him up. I, I, I would recognize that was Taichi if it wasn't blurred when Not like you asked. that close to the boy. Couldn't think of any better place to go than here. <laughs> Jean Show women sure can work wonders on men like him. <laughs> Doubt he even noticed I left. What's the meaning of all this, Date san? He's supposed to think I'm dead. Why would you invite me somewhere he could spot me? Because if he doesn't realize who he's looking at, there's no problem. Hmm? That's why you and I are keeping our distance. Much as I'd like it, I know you can't speak directly. I still thought seeing him like this would be better than never seeing him at all. Oh, Date-san. <laughs> You've always been too stubborn to look backward. Tell me, how does it feel? Would dying have been easier without this memory? Don't your kids warrant a spot on your list? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. It, oh, God. I'd heard about him becoming a firefighter, you know, I, I still keep tabs on all of them, but I never planned on seeing them again. I couldn't even risk hoping to. Hmm. 
That's why we're here. This is my unfinished business. You've gone through life telling yourself you have no regrets. It's not true. You just refuse to acknowledge them. And if there's anyone still breathing in this world who could convince you of that, I suppose it's me. I did mention, remember back when, uh, when we like first started this chapter, I did mention how there was like probably like one person who, I mean, Grant, I gave like a list of people, but like here's like a list of people that like could convince Kiryu to slow down and try to take the, te oh God, I'm, I'm tearing up because I'm just thinking about like, if this becomes into like kind of its like, own side story of like Kiryu's get just to see all the kids, every kid, including Haruka and Haruto and Yuta, I am just I'm tearing up thinking about it right now. But I remember it. I was like, there's like a list of people like maybe Daigo could, Majima, Haruka, and Date. I was like, Date. Like these were the list of people that could convince him to slow down, take the treatment, to try to fight, you know, fight to live. And Date. God damn it, Date. Date's the fucking best. I know. When the Daidoji helped you fabricate your death, I went along with it. And it cost you everything. Haruka, Haruto, a life cut off from the people you love. I replay those events over and over in my head, wondering if I could have changed the outcome. It was my responsibility. My death was the only thing that could have ensured their safety. Date-san, you have nothing to blame yourself for. Either way, that was a long time ago. Maybe now I could make a difference? Maybe? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Who are they? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Hey, why are all the girls hanging out here? Send some to our table. Very sorry, sir. We'll address this at once. You'd better. We're paying customers too, ain't we? <laughs> I apologize, everyone. I didn't know I'd be so popular in here. That's because Taichan is the cutest. I won't drink <laughs> with anyone else. You mean it? Piss off, you dumb fucking tourist. You really think you're hot shit? Uh-oh. Damn it. I might have tipped those girls too well. Wanted Taichi to have a good time, you know. This is dangerous. Everyone's too drunk. Hey, you're being very impolite, aren't you? Calm down and someone will join you soon. Excuse me? I don't take lift from working girls! Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? You can't do that! Never hit a woman! Hey, don't be a fool. As long as Tai Chi's there, you can't intervene. <sighs> All night's ruined now. I'm gonna discipline this chick. No! Huh? Tai Chi? Oh, yeah! You make me sick. The hell? Daichan! You, you're dirt punk! You want to discipline her, huh? Learn some discipline yourself. Huh. Well, I'll be. Who would have thought time? I mean, he's a firefighter. He, Uncle Kiryu! Not so fucking fast. Ugh. Oh, cheap shot. Shit dick. Nobody likes a guy who hogs the tits. Oh, Titan, are you okay? Please get up, please. <sighs> Excuse me, that's quite enough. Leave it once or I'll call the police. Shut your mouth. This is your fault, scumbag. This ends right now. Or I'll pay you back for Taichi ten times over. Uh oh. Uncle. Is it really you, Uncle Koss? Uncle... Hands off of me! Everybody has a death wish tonight. Whole world's been shitting on me. Now, I'm gonna shit on all of you! Gross. Look, I'm not Vince McMahon, <laughs> goddammit. Bring it on. You're going to regret this. Try to block this! You asked for it. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Shit. What's Shit. the hold on? I won't hold that. Oh, yeah. 
And that's what happens when you do all the side quests and shit. Whoops the doodles. Ah, uh, Tante's like, well, oh, shit. All the damn luck. It wasn't supposed to go like this. Will it be all right? Hmm? Oh, um, well, sleeping like a baby. He's more drunk than he is hurt. Maybe we overdid it a little. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. Sir? He's gonna make a great firefighter. Boy's in good shape. Hell, he's a grown man. <sighs> tai Chi's gonna wake up before too long. You should leave. We'll catch up. I'll stay behind and try to clean up this mess. Thanks. Uncle Kaz! Thanks. Hey! Rise and shine, kid. What a night. Oh, um, I'm real sorry. I, uh, I remember there was a fight. Somebody came and defended me. Somebody? <laughs> you mean was Kiryu here? Huh? Joking. You were calling out for him, Tai Chi. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz, you said. Uh, really? Weird. I guess I was dreaming. The good news okay, is whoever's you know voicing Tai Chi sounds familiar too. Girl of yours. Huh. Not every man is the sort who'd do that, you know. Even if they wanted to. Actually, that's my trick when I need to be brave. I think about what Uncle Kiryu would do. When I remember the way he was, it's like I can shut down any fear inside me. You don't say. That's a pretty clever technique. Should give it a try myself. Yeah, sure. It always works for me. This place good? Kanagawa PD contact recommended it to me. Order one drink, sit as long as you like. From now on, consider this my Eugene Show hideout. <laughs> hmm. So you mean... Think I'll stay around town for a bit. You know, stay on top of that bucket list of yours. Tai Chi's little night out was only the start of it. I've got calls going out all over Yokohama. Stop. You realize that if the Daidoji faction catches on, we'll both pay. <laughs> they haven't objected yet, have they? Not even Tai Chi knows you're still out there. Trust me, the fearsome Daidoji faction has nothing to worry about. You're testing them. <laughs> Look. I realize I'm taking a risk here, but when it comes to your final days, I don't care. Nothing you say is going to stop me. If Daidoji has a problem, they know where I am. <laughs> so then, Taichi stir anything in you? Do you regret what happened tonight? Because I saw your face just before you left. The way you looked at that proud young man. You have ties to this world. They don't disappear when you turn your back. <laughs> You're not wrong. Dragons don't have the luxury of dying forgotten. Tai Chi remembers you. People remember you. Kazumo Kiryu never walked the easiest path, but the steps he took always bore fruit. You have the responsibility to reap the harvest you've sown. I've never been more certain. I'll call you again. Kasuga and all that is important, but take some time for yourself, too. Date-san. Thank you. I don't have the words. I'll never forget what you're doing for me. Yeah, Taichi I'm sorry. The others. I thought maybe I'd been able to let go. That even if I never saw them again, I'd be fine. But... When I heard his voice with my own ears, when he was right there in front of me, who knew I'd be so happy? I certainly didn't. That's more than you need to say. Now I've got quite some work to do. So... Oh... 
Thanks to Date Son's scheme, I was able to reunite with Taichi. Sort of. Considering how one sided it was. <laughs> but that's fine by me. It helped me realize that I wasn't ready to leave the kids for more glory. But I'm sure they've grown up just fine without me. So this is what the whole video is going to be about, if I can. The bucket list. As Kiri rises his awakening level, he will trigger life links with Date and his other and his older friends. Life links can be initiated by speaking to Date at the harbor bar or harbor light in Ijinjo's bar district after Kiri receives a phone call. Awaken the dragon within and see things through the end. Oh my god. <laughs> hey Kazuga, I swear to god. Sorry for the wait. Oh good. So, did you gotta chat with your friend? Yeah. Our talk made me realize something important, actually. Oh yeah? Glad to hear. Anyway, where to next? Huh? Kazuma Kiri, the legendary dragon to think you return. Restaurant Row. We we'll expecting you. Come alone. You messaged me. Something the matter? There's somewhere I need to be. Mind taking along? Of course not. Let's go move on then. That's am I curious. That's on row, huh? Maybe I should drop by. Is it Jujin? Is it Jong Yi or whatever his name is? Did any of them. Uh, I, I don't think any more will open up. I think that whole last page, the one that Tai Chi's was on, I think all those are going to be tied to. Uh, uh, the kids at Morning Glory. Hey, good shape. So now I definitely feel like I need to Found get it. the uh... picture perfect. What the hell is that one at the the left bottom there? <laughs> um, I, don't know, I feel like I began a call from Date about some of these because my. My awakening has been fucking high, so... Found it. Picture perfect. Picture perfect. Boom bag! This is my boom bag! Let's go Bring it on. You're going to regret this. Follow my lead. We're done. I'm not We're done for. <laughs> no begging for mercy now. Literally went for the one I did not want to go to out of that whole group. Damn it. Whoops. I'm on a roll. It's time. Let's go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking. Hope you're ready. Of course we won. And that's the end. You picked the wrong of Kind of expecting a, expecting a phone call from Date. Hey. Hey. Never mind. Thanks to Date, so I'm scheming. So I can't. They don't unlock until chapter ten. Then chapter 12. And I need to get to awakening level 9, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 of them. I'm at awakening level 7. I'm assuming that's because everything's at level... Everything's at least at level 7. So I need to get to level 9, huh? I'll get there. At some point, hopefully. Well, there's, I mean, yeah, I can... I'm doing all the memoirs, obviously. I feel like all these are top. Maybe not all. Well, there might be some that pop up after those, but. Feels like I might meet someone. 
Can't remember. Can't remember. Can't remember. Can't remember. All of them say I can't remember, say for this one right here. It says, feels like I might meet someone. So I can do all the unfinished business stuff. That's basically the way to do it, I suppose. So. Eh. No big worries about that. That could definitely be something I just go around to get all my shit up. Uh, might as well go to Restaurant Row. Seven million. I'm sorry, but I was like, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm doing all these right now Ooh, if I can. Picture perfect. Rose Amor. Them down. It's my turn. I'll follow your lead. Here we go. You're weak. You're gonna be in a right. No begging for mercy now. I'll take one. No sad. Watch this. Oh, damn it, I. Other people, but. Let's do it. Here we go. Allow me. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. It's my turn. Right. You have a winner. Did you really think you'd win? Of course, doing all these helps it too, Life so. Oh, there's guys behind us, too. Here we go. Here we go. No begging for mercy now. What's the hold up? Watch this. Hmm, guys covered in grass. Are they gonna be weak to fire? Here we go. No 
Both begging for mercy now. Here we go. My heart is overkill. Ah, 69 for Sonny. Hardly a fair fight. Hell yeah. Moving up in the world. Whew. We should relic. There's more where this came from. Streep. That shit. <laughs> Hello, anyone here? <laughs> All right. Hey. Got something to take care of real quick. Mind waiting for me? No problem. You'll sure be okay on your own, though? Wants to tag along? <laughs> it's fine. I'll be back before you know it. You better. Hmm. I don't know what's up with him. Who knows? Zhao? Could be Zhao? Message they sent said they'd be waiting here. <gasps> Amon! <laughs> it's been a while, Kazuma Kiryu. Wait, Amon? The Amon clan believes they're the strongest in the world. It's made up of skilled fighters. We've clashed countless times. As long as I can remember, they kept telling me to fight, saying they m that me being the legendary dragon hindered their clan's claim to strength. You haven't forgot about us, have you? How could I, when you're this persistent? How'd you guys know I was back? After your retirement, we targeted Ichiban Kaska, who had been making a name for himself as the new dragon in town. But well, while we were keeping tabs on him and his flunkies, you shut up. Right out of thin air. Surprisingly. Really. I mean, you also showed up at the top of the tower at the end of 7 with me. You know, you wanted me to test him. What the fuck? Guess that didn't matter. I think the dragon would research. Can keep away your, can keep yourself away, could Not you? Not quite. I didn't return because I wanted to. Not that it's any of your business. Why, well, of course it is. In the past, you've insulted the Amon clan time after time. The fact remains that you are but a thorn in our side. If you intend on making a comeback, we won't let that slide. So is this our Amon fight? Is there no uh, Millennium Tower thing where we fight Amon at the top again? Besides, haven't you roamed the streets in your weakened state? God, but your allies only tarnishes our reputation. <laughs> Feels like talking to a wall. Just like old times. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san. I tell you guys to wait. Sorry, we were just worried about you. Who's he? This guy picking a fight with you, Kiryu-san? No need for Kiryu-san to bother with him. If he wants to be so badly, we'll have to go through all of us. These are your little friends. How weak you become, Kazuma Kiryu. You once shouldered everything yourself and fought alone. To think you'd have allies looking after you now. Do you think strength means not relying on others? Well, putting your trust in someone else re takes real courage. Quit shoving your eye. Ideology down other people's throats. Keep running your mouth about Kiryu san, and I'll show you no mercy. Interesting. Let's see how far the mighty dragon has fallen. Hope you're ready to die. I'm ready. Well, this is going to be the easiest Amon fight in any video game ever. Oh my god. Okay. The fuck? Never mind. Ugh. You're weak, Kazuma Kiryu. Too weak, both physically and mentally. Is this all you can do? I told you. Not the same man I was before. What a bore. Here, how about this? Say I kill one of your precious comrades. 
without waking your old self? What'd you say? What? A clan's line of work is assassination, you know. It'll be easy for me to sacrifice as many lives as it takes to revive the legendary dragon. Dare lay a hand on them. <laughs> ha! It looks like you do have some fighting left in you. It's time you take this seriously. For allies' sake. I guess some things never change. Now show me your true strength. Show me what these bonds of yours are made of. And also kind of forget the fact that in Yakuza 7 and 4... Blah, 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 in Yakuza 4 and 5, there were allies, and, but whatever. You better if you want to protect your friends. A moon! Hope you're ready to die. Show me what you got. Dragon's Resurgence. When his hype meter is full, Kira can use Dragon's Resurgence. Powerful skills that allows him to move freely on the battlefield. Hold R2 to activate it. Use circle, square, and triangle to attack until the timer on the top screen expires. You can increase the duration of Dragon's Resurgence by strengthening Kira's bonds with the party. Oh! Oh! This is what they they had this in the demo. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Hardly a fair fight. So was that the Amon fight? Or is there going to be a stronger moment fight? <sighs> I won't let you hurt them. <laughs> that hit just now felt just like the ones from the past. Of the Mark II, no doubt about it. Looks like the bond you share with our allies is what gives you strength now. You're still ruined to go? No. I'll leave you be for now. So there will be a moment fight later. If your adjusted keys are on the decline, I would have killed you here and now. But, you still got some growing to do. With this bond you and your allies have, or whatever, call it what you will. Should you develop your bonds and grow even stronger, I'll return to fight you once more. I'll be the one to take you down, not some illness. And I'm sure I'm not alone in that s sentiment. Don't you dare forget that. There are millions of Amoons. And once we're done with you, we'll just go after Yagami, who's strangely voiced by that guy in the green coat behind you, but whatever. Strength of our bonds, huh? Kiryu-san, are you okay? Right. Yeah. And you guys? Fine, somehow. That was a tough fight. Sorry for dragging you guys into this mess. All good. We're used to getting mixed up in stuff. Not like it wasn't any of our business anyway. Huh? They mess with our friend. They mess with us. Right? Right. Thanks. Thanks. Alrighty then. That takes care of that. Come on, let's get going. To what? I don't know. <laughs> Seems I've got some tough friends. Newfound strength. Hells yeah, baby. I was about to say, oh. <laughs> Amon, a mysterious assassin and formidable adversary. I've had many fights with him, but I can't remember if I've ever dealt with any of his siblings. That was a rough battle, though, just like old times. <laughs> I believe a guy like that taught me about the power of bonds. Yeah, well, you've, you fought other Amons. It wasn't always Joe Amon. Which is weird because Joe Amon is the one that Majima fought in Zero. I can't remember the one that Kiryu fought in Zero was. Well, I made it through that, thanks to all of them. Still not sure what's waiting for us, though. All right back to Kasuga's place. I should buy some new gear and make sure I'm ready. Let's go another round. And would you look at that? I'm right next to an equipment store. Um... Well, never mind. I mean, I can get that. Uh, 14 million? That's almost half of my money. Uh, 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 
What have we here? A Chinese pub. Ugh, good old Lin Lin. Actually, Sachan went undercover there. Nearly got her armpits licked. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Not another word. Sorry you had experienced that. <laughs> Aside from that fiasco, the pub itself is great. That right. And maybe it's worth checking out. You out on this one, Sachan? Uh, if everyone's going, I'll go. Out anyone I know is still there. Besides, I'm sure the current staff isn't connected to their sordid past. All right. Let's go have a drink there sometime. Fuck it, let's do it now. Maybe, I don't know. So this is like the thing in Hawaii. Linlin hostess bar. The more expensive. The item you are, the more the mood of the girls will increase as soon as the bomb right increases the chances that they'll employ their skills. The girls also have their own preferences when it comes to food and drink, which will make quite... Okay. I mean, of course. I want the big bottle. Fuck it, we'll get that. I enjoyed myself. Did I fuck up or? I might have fucked up. Oh well. Oh well, it's it's it's, it's developing our bonds and makes my dragon resurgence uh, much better. <laughs> Levels? God damn. Curious is all the way that high already. Okay, uh, well, let's. Oh, well, that's the pharmacy, so I probably won't be able to get stuff from there. I'm trying to. Yeah, this is the. I was like, where's armor stuff? So I have that, I have this. That's probably gonna be too expensive. Um. See, I think I want to head over to the bar district. Cow, Chow Kao Long's armor probably is... I mean, it's, it's more so weapons than armor, but also for classes I don't currently have. So, where did I want to go? Oh, uh, bar district. Not a loser. It's over. It's over. No. It's over. They didn't Learning more chance. every day. Yes. Moving up in the world. And just because they're like, okay, it seems like story stuff is going to happen as soon as we go to Kasuga's place, maybe I will uh, give myself... Uh, we're we're going to go to 
Kama Roadshow as well, just uh picture perfect. Um, we'll go to Kama Roadshow too. Oh yeah, I have the freaking crown on, so that's why my shit's like that. Commander hat? Uh, do I want to buy four pieces? If I buy four, that's basically... That's almost like... Uh, hold on. So that's, so that's seven million right there. I'd be spending if I bought four of them. I think it's curious one I can really use it the most. But I have them with the Nori Norichi hat. Smart robe. Arigatou. I think I'll be fine, but let's at least power up some of our our weapons more so than anything. We should probably power power those up if we can. Do that. Okay. Right, about, what you know what I mean. But let's go to Camarocho first, just cause. Just to see if any more of them unlocked. I don't think so, but you never know. All right. Does not look like it, and they don't really have shops. I mean, they have like just regular popos and stuff like that, which I honestly I should go to now that I think about it, because I used up all my healing items in, in, in the Kamaki fight. So, well, not all my healing items, but like all my good ones anyway, like my deluxe bento, my deluxe sushi, or whatever it was. So, I should definitely. Yashimase. Buy all this. Um, buy like a couple of those. Buy a couple of those. Um, I have all that back. Glues faster than standard Super X materials to craft weapons. Let's buy a hundred of them, because why not? I don't, know if I, I don't know if I'm going to need these for weapons, but hey, it'll help. I don't really fault it for that. Um, now our sh we're already, like, you know, we're maxed in terms of health and MP. I'm a good shake. Like the Jinjo. Alrighty. Let's head to the... Julie's work our gear shop. Honestly, I don't have much in terms of. Irashaimase. Tack, let's expand. I hope you'll buy up some item crafting, okay? Intoxicane! So I need a shark fin and a lot some lava crystals. I also need 14 million.
Explosive rock star bag. chunks then. Alright, we're good. Arigato. We are good. Go back to Casca's place and this might end the part. Well, not in the part, but like in the chapter. Fine. God, I'll be right over. Something came up. I'll have to return the Gomi Jewel. Will you be all right? to me. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'm tired anyhow, so I'm going to take a break. And let's call it a day. We'll meet up again later. Roger that. I'm a little worn. It's no surprise. All things considered. I should get some rest. Oh. Kiryu. You think I'm ready? Is I out that long? Hello? Here you, son. It's Son He. Sorry to bring bad news, but it looks like the Seiryu clan set us up. What do you mean? Here, check the video I sent you. It was posted just now by Tatara, one of the more popular VTubers. Uh-oh. Here it is. This is what I was talking about before, What's too. What's up, people? Tatara Channel coming at ya. As always, we're out to boldly reveal the evils this media's just too scared to touch. The title for today's episode is A Super Big Shot Yakuza Long Thought Dead Suddenly Returns from the Grave? First off, let's take a good look at this photo. In it is Kazuma Kiryu, legendary Yakuza to some, hardened criminal to others. Known as the Dragon of Dojima in Kamurocho, he was also the chairman of the Tojo clan, the largest for like Yakuza five group seconds. in the Kanto area. Seven years ago in Hiroshima, Kiryu-san was shot to death as a result of gang-related activities. Or so we were led to believe. This video here recorded in Hawaii is no more than a few days what old. What the fuck? And Who? if we zoom in to get a closer look... My, my! He looks a lot like Kazuma Kiryu, doesn't he? I mean, you're practically twins! Now, let's continue the footage, shall we? Long time no see, Kasuga. Kiryu-san? Is that you? <laughs> Who else would it be? You hear that? The other guy just called him Kiryu-san, didn't he? Does that not blow your mind, people? The dragon is back from the dead! Oh, and we're not done just yet. This footage hides yet another juicy surprise. Did you happen to catch it? Right here! Do you all remember him? Long time no see, Kasuga. It's Ichiban Kasuga! whose cover we blew on this channel before. Yokohama's so-called hero. So a long-lost legend is really alive and kicking. 
Plus, he's pals with Ichiban Kasuga? Okay, what is really going on here? To help shed light on that, I've invited some very special guests for this occasion. You'll be meeting the Underworld's top dogs, currently leading the most powerful Yakuza organization in Japan. Here we go! What the fuck? These gentlemen fuck? are in charge of a group called the Seiryu Clan. Thank you both for joining us today. Let's get right to it. You've seen the footage of Kazuma Kiryu yourselves. What do you think? That's him. Without a shadow of a doubt. As a matter of fact, he paid a little visit to our office here only yesterday. Which goes to show the man never died. It was an act. That what in the turn fuck? leads me to believe law enforcement might have had a hand in this charade. <gasps> You're saying the police helped Kiryu fake his death? How is that even possible? Kazuma Kiryu was the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan, and despite their rivalry, he was also quite close with Chairman Watase of the Omi Alliance. Naturally, he would have had a wide range of support from Japan's underground, being in it all those years. And that's to say nothing of the late Minoru Daidoji, whose cabal still straddles the political and finance sectors. If even one of those groups were to put pressure on the police, well, I'm sure you can imagine they'd comply. But let's move on. Take a look at this footage from yesterday. Kazuma Kiryu again! And sitting across from him, is that... Yes, wow. That would be the two of us. We were Can set up. elaborate on what's going on here? Kazuma Kiryu, as you clearly saw in the Hawaii footage, is likely the one pulling Ichiban Kasuga's strings. Now why, after spending so long in hiding, would he suddenly emerge like this? I can only think of one plausible reason. The resurrection of the Tojo clan. He came here just as we'd finished refurbishing the old Tojo clan headquarters, stating he'll use any means to reclaim it. Need proof? The video here should be more than enough to convince you. Wow, I'm glad you're both safe. What a menace Kiryu is! Oh my God. How can he just be allowed to walk free? Well, he's been officially pronounced dead. It's why the police can't touch him. Still. Well, where am I going to get the phone call from to my boys from the Daidoji? Oh, now it's all starting to come together. Thank you so much for this information. Well, everyone, Tatara Channel's on it. And we'll chase Kazuma Kiryu to the ends of the earth. Fear not. This state-protected, privileged class of Yakuza can't run forever. The truth will always win out. Above all, the Tojo clan must not be resurrected. Let's make sure to put a stop to it. That's all for today. And if you spot Kazuma Kiryu, drop me a line. Fuck! Kiryu san, we got trouble on the internet. It's the damn Tatara. It just goes to show you that VTubers really are the evil of the Yakuza world. I guess you already know. Son, he just finished telling me. You gonna be all right? Now that your name and face are broadcast out in the open? Hmm. I'm not sure. We'll see how Hanawa responds. But either way, I don't have long to live. In that sense, it's not a big deal. Don't say that, Kiryu-san. You know, maybe I ought to give Ebina and Sawashiro a word of thanks. And then some. Seriously? I for one want to know what the hell they were thinking. What was their goal in all this? Could be we got under their skin yesterday. And this was how they retaliated. Hey, didn't Tatara spread rumors about Ichiban too? Something like former Yakuza makes a killing by forcing other ex-criminals to steal? He was only doing his job, but the video spun it completely out of context. Right. That channel's known for trying to expose the evil the media's too afraid to touch. And actually, their scoops are mostly legitimate. But why does their information get twisted when the spotlight's on Ichiban and Kiryu-san? Hey, if I knew, I'd tell you. Not only that, why is Ebina bothering to lend Tatara a hand? Seems pretty out of place for a Yakuza to go on camera like that. Plus, that footage with Kiryu-san was taken just yesterday. 
Yet they already had a smear campaign prepped and ready? <sighs> nice catch. You got a good eye, Psycho. Sunny, did you come running all this way? <sighs> the situation called for it. But this isn't about me. I don't have positive proof yet, but there's a good chance Ebina and Tatara were partners for a long time. Makes sense. Is that right? How long are we talking? At least before any of you even knew their names. How can you be so sure? Why else would Ebina and his lackey go on stream with some VTuber who has nothing to do with the Yakuza? Hmm. True. Anyone in the position to lead the Seiryu clan would never pull a stunt like that. It's too big a risk for one, but as you saw, they did it anyway. So, here's what I think could happen. Ebina might start using Tatara to broadcast any propaganda that suits his needs. And that's to 5 million subscribers, by the way. And I'll even take it a step further and say this. I think Ebina's been Tatara's major source of intel for everything that's happened so far. Yep, makes sense. So, Ebina, a leader in the Yakuza world, is behind the Tatara channel, of all things? Who makes you think that, Sunny? Ebina's background tells it all. He used to be one of Tokyo PD's top elites. Was he really? And now he's a Yakuza captain. Talk about turning the wrong leaf. What would make him do that? I don't know the particulars. There wasn't any scandal I could trace it to. But with history like that, I'm sure he's got a wealth of stories the media's never seen or heard. Isn't that a fair bit of assumption, though? Sure, but it's not like it's unfounded. <sighs> oh, you know what? This involves Ichiban directly. Right after Tatara effectively canceled him, Sawashiro goes and sends him to Hawaii. Meaning... Well, I just wonder, had Ichiban been able to keep giving work to ex-Yakuza, would he still have said yes to go in there? So then... So Ashiro wanted Kasuga in Hawaii for his own ends. And for that to happen, Tatara made it so he had to leave his job. The timing was too convenient. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, it's possible Sawashiro's been stringing Ichiban along. And if that's true, it's not a stretch to say they know more than they let on about Polykana. So, if everything was orchestrated by Ebina and Sawashiro, what would be their next move? Good question. I guess that's the part we're all stumped on. Should we go have another chat? I would love to, but the situation's changed. One false step, and we'll be staring down every last member of the Seiryu clan. Oh, well. After putting footage like that out there, they're obviously ready for a fight. And if Kiryu-san isn't his usual self, we shouldn't pick a fight we can't win. As much as I hate to admit it, I think you might be right. Okay. Then why don't we do this? What? Now that the Serio clan opened a branch office, there shouldn't be as many of them back at Ijincho. So, we should hit their HQ first. Figure we might be able to get who's in charge to talk. Nanva, that's actually not such a bad idea. Ah, yeah. Take yeah. over the Serio, the Ijincho HQ. I'm all for that. Anything open up? I'm just going to assume no. I'm just going to assume none of the old, not none, no more uh, side stuff for Kiryu is going to happen for a while. Found it. Picture perfect. Here we are, Kiryu son. Serio clan headquarters. <laughs> there he is. Been waiting for you, tough guy. I'm here with Men's Vice Journal. Great. What now? Feast your eyes, bros and bastards. You're taking an exclusive look at the most legendary Yakuza it's to this ever guy walk again. the streets. Thanks to the Tatara channel, he's the talk of the town once more. Introducing Kazuma Kiryu. Ah, uh, I see what's going on here. They're hyenas lapping up a bigger man's fame. 
How about you give us an interview, Kiryu-san? Your story's, like, <laughs> incredible. A top dog faking his own death all so he could live in secrecy? How do you feel now that that's out in the open? Any comments? Concerns? Give me something. Out of the way. <laughs> oh! Ow! I think I broke a bone. <laughs> no way he got hurt just from that. Guess what? Talk about bad acting. Yo, did you guys see that? Dude freaking wrecked me! <laughs> that right there's the real, uninhibited Kazuma Kiryu! Boom! Tiger drop! I'm not in the mood for child's play. So get the hell out of my sight. This is the same Kiryu who's sick, right? Oh, what the fuck, man? That shit really did break a bone! Guess what? It's all on camera. Huh. I'm surprised you didn't die on impact. Hurry up and get him, guys. I'll be right here recording. Oh my god, of course you will be. I even got a killer title. Legendary Yakuza Kazuma Kiryu gets straight up owned on camera. You really want another reality check, huh? Looks like your boys are too scared to move a muscle. That's all right. We got ourselves an arrangement. <sighs> Looks like Ebina knew we were coming. First he spreads lies, then he lays a trap. I'd say his true colors are starting to show. Yeah. Right. This pretty much amounts to a declaration of war. Then how should we handle this, Kiryu-san? No question. If they want to fight... If you want to die, then step up! Let's go! Bring it on! Men's Vice Journal. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Try to block this! You asked for it. This will be Allow me. Ah, should just went to, should went to beast mode. It's my turn. In for the kill. You asked for it. This will be here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Try hard. Try hard next time. Victory. You pick the wrong opponent. <laughs> right before, you said you had an arrangement with the Seiryu clan. What did you mean by that? <sighs> Hard to say. Answer me now, or that bone's going back in its socket. And I can't guarantee you'll like it. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, uh, I got a message from the Tatara channel. They knew about you, said you'd be coming to Seiryu HQ. They also said to taunt you and get footage that the clan would protect us if we did and they honestly think so we couldn't Sunkey's beat them all up right. Ebina really has been pulling Tatara's strings yeah and so is Shira's his accomplice they also made Kasuga go to Hawaii there had to be a reason for that too what kind of reason though let me ask what's happening in Hawaii I've got a contact over there who would that be Hanua. He probably means Hanawa son, guy from the Daidoji faction. Why is he not picking up? He's not picking up? Isn't it late at night over there? It could be they're all snoring by now. No. That's not good. Uh oh. Big uh oh. 
Oh, uh oh. Big, 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 uh oh. Well, I think that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, guys. Jesus. Fuck. Um, in the next part, guys, we, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, we start the next chapter. Fuck. This is, ooh. This is getting very interesting now. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please... Yeah, so, that was the one thing, too, that I saw in the video that I reacted to. Or the trailer I reacted to was the Tatara channel exposing Kiryu and all that. So, now we pretty... I think we pretty much have seen almost everything in terms of plot note from that trailer that I can really remember. But... Yeah, what the fuck? This is all tied to Polycana somehow, but I don't know. That now makes me think, like, is that actually Akane? Like, the same Akane that the boss loved or not? I'm curious about that now. Or if it was all just a ploy. I don't know, man. But, yeah. But that's going to do it for this part. Um, Thank you all so much for watching this video guys if you like the video please give that like button a click and comment down below what you like about the video didn't like about the video let me know guys what you think of god everything that just happened um hanawa is probably dead that was a lot of blood unless he just got beat to a pulp i'm curious now we're probably going to be playing kasuga's side about everything that happened between last time we were with them and up to here then up to that moment with Hanua, then that's probably what uh, chapter nine will be about. I'm curious why, um, what's his name? Uh, uh I, I, because I don't, I don't see a reason why he would do anything to Hanua. The, uh, the guy who had Kiryu hostage in the last chapter. Yamai, Yamai, Yamai was on the trophy there, so, but I don't know, but yeah, let me know how you guys felt about that, that's crazy, as always guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat, and subscribe to the main channel too, that's in the description below, as well as follow me on Twitter, both my main Twitter, RBG, Kim Kid Twitter are in there too, and thank you all so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time.